okay. Just a, a little tired. I can't pass out in a place uh, like this. Uh, I have to keep looking for uni. What's wrong, Kitty? Who's there? <gasps> oh my, you're a mess! Um, um, I'm... Oh, at my limit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? Where am I? In these bandages! Did someone fix up my wound? Who? You're the kitten from the woods. Oh, you've woken up? The kitten talked. <gasps> Maybe some kind of shock has given me the ability to talk to animals. I was saved because of you. Thank you. Meow. Kittens talking? Ability? Um, are you feeling okay? Huh? Have you possibly hit yourself on the head? Maybe I should have taken you to the hospital. Um, who are you? Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't introduced myself. My name is Keisha. Uh, I'm Noir. Nice to meet you. The pleasure is all mine. So, um, about what we were discussing, what did you mean when you said ability just now? Oh, that was nothing. I wasn't fully awake yet, and I was kind of confused. It's all right. I won't tell anyone. Yeah, I'd be grateful for that. But I'm glad. You don't seem like a bad person, Noir. Maybe I'm not one to say, but you shouldn't judge people by their covers too much. Thank you for the advice, but you seem like a nice person, Noir. Anyone who talks to cats must be nice. Meow. Please, forget about that already. Aw, oh, but why? It was so adorable. No, no. <laughs> You're so funny. Where is this anyway? I've never even seen this room before. Oh, oh of course. I'm sorry. How silly of me. You have passed out at the entrance to the city. I happen to be passing by. Oh, I think I remember now. Before my consciousness faded, I feel like someone spoke to me. You were in such a mess. I panicked, thinking about what to do. So I carried you to my room. So that's what... <gasps> Wait, carried? By yourself? Yes, that's right. I dragged you as best I could. Dragged? Oh, no, nothing. H how are your injuries? I treated them for now, but... Then these bandages are yours? Yes, although it was a little difficult. Oh, oh, but don't worry, I didn't see anything. Huh? I did have to take off all your clothes in order to treat your wounds, but I didn't see anything, promise. It doesn't really matter though, right? Yeah, it's a little embarrassing, but we're both girls. Uh, even if we're both girls, what's embarrassing is... Embarrassing! Why are you embarrassed, even though I was the one being seen? I said I didn't see anything! That's just how it is! Wait, do, do you like being looked at? No! Of course not! Don't get any weird ideas! R really? I'm a little relieved then. Oh, jeez. We went way off topic. By the way, uh, where are we exactly? This is one of the city's hotels. It's the closest one to the city entrance, and it seemed like the only good place to rest. I see. I'm really grateful to you for treating my injury. Thank you. But I'm sorry, I don't have any time to rest. I have to go right... Oh, oh, ow! You shouldn't get up. Your wounds haven't fully healed. Please, stay still for now. But I can't stay here. No buts. I don't know what sort of reason you have, but please, listen to your body. It probably is dangerous to go to the Basilicom while I'm still a wanted outlaw. 
Since I don't know the situation, it might be best to gather information for a while. And that golden tower I saw before? I have a bad feeling. All right then. I'll stay here until my wounds heal completely. Yes. Oh, you must be hungry, Noir. I'll prepare something right away. So just wait a little while, please. Thank you. 